Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to take a scenic cruise from Duluth, Minnesota, and it's going to go around and show some of the sights along the city, and then up north along the shore of Lake Superior, and I've already noticed that along that shore there are some spectacular scenery, a lot of huge cliffs. It's not just flat like a lot of the area is. So I think I'm going to be able to get some pretty spectacular scenery on this video. So first I'm going to look around the docks here and then hop aboard the boat for the cruise. There's a lot of people here getting ready to board the Vista Star which is part of the Vista Fleet line. It looks like a very professional organization with a shop there and looks like they have a lot of things in their store to buy. It's a really large gift shop. And in case you're running low on long sleeve t-shirts, <laughs> they've got a lot of them here. They've got a footbridge that goes to the other side of the harbor here. And it's actually a drawbridge footbridge. And look how nicely they maintain their lawn here. <laughs> and this ship over here is called the William A. Irvin. That is a museum ship. So after your cruise, you might want to take a look at that. Here's a little smaller Vista fleet ship. And here you are invited to tour this ship. <laughs> I always like to look at the names people pick for their boats. This is the Papagaucho. And then over here I saw another clever one. This is the Mother Superior on Lake Superior. <laughs> and how about some brute nature? Here's the inside. They've got a bar, of course. Everybody facing outwards. Let's look out front. And they actually have two interior decks. Over here you can see the bridge going over to the town of Superior, Wisconsin. Which actually is where I'm camping out while I'm here in Duluth area. What we're talking about is our site right here on our left or our port side. This is our Duluth area lift bridge, probably the most photographed bridge in the entirety of the upper Midwest. It was originally built in 1905 as a gondola ferry bridge, so it had a small little cart that would ferry people from one side to the other. However, in 1929, it was decided instead to retrofit the bridge, and so it was rebuilt to the design that you can see today. How would you like to live there? <laughs> We're going to go under the bridge here. We connected it to it. The and we are headed for these two the lighthouses going out right island. between them. And so today, the only way to access the park point is via the lift bridge here. So that means that park point is the world's longest naturally occurring freshwater sandbar. They stretches for seven miles because they want that they wanted to dig this canal. As a, way to both a lot of people are harbor, walking out to the traffic, lighthouse. Don't see anybody at the top. And that is what they did. For the officer Here's some of the here scenes here. along. Stop. Duluth. And so on that Monday, when the Army officer arrived over the top of the hill in Duluth, 
He then came down to look at the canal, only to see a tugboat going right through the very much completed canal, water against the fury of Lake Superior. So the lake saw this and said, no, we're not doing this today, and so it was promptly destroyed in a storm. But it's okay, because Mr. Uh, Mr. Whitney decided to rebuild it, because he still thought it was a great idea. And then it was destroyed again. He rebuilt it one more time, and it was destroyed again. You can start to see a pattern here, and it, Mr. Whitney did too. And so in 1922, after just a few short years... Next, that looks like a beach. Structure there, right the there, I'm not sure. It was dedicated on Memorial Day of 1992. It was designed by local veterans. Yeah, I think it's a rocky beach. All the beaches I've seen so far around Duluth are rock beaches. It has engraved in it the emblems of the five branches of the United States Armed Forces, as well as the names of the 136 men from the Norfolk area who did not return back to the Vietnam War. Well, the boat has now turned away from the shore there, and we're heading directly out into open water. For what purpose, I can't imagine. There's nothing to see out here. We were just about to get to some interesting cliffs over there. So back on the other side, this is where the boat took off. Just beside that big bridge. And everything is pretty flat over there. So I don't know where we're going. Well, we seem to be heading directly back to our dock. I wonder if this is a sandy beach along here. I can't tell from this distance. Well, we're going under that bridge again. <laughs> Well, we're passing up our dock where we started and we're going into the bay back into the city of Duluth. I was hoping we would go much much further north along the coast to see the cliffs and things but looks like the cruise is going to center on the city itself. You like aquariums? There's a big one right there. And then they also have a number of different facilities as well, such as a large park. Bayfront was originally the site of Toulouse's very first boat club in the 1880s. And today it stands as a large open air concert venue. And they will host many events all throughout the summer, including Reggae Fest, which was just a off the This is a big grain operation. So instead of the lake cliffs, we're taking a tour of the industrial areas of Duluth. <laughs> there are two bridges that cross the bay from Duluth, Minnesota to Superior, Wisconsin. Superior is on the left there, and you can see the second bridge further down, right there. I noticed over here to the right, there are some ski runs. See right there? You can go snow skiing right in the city. <laughs> nice. Wow, look at all this. I have no idea what that is for. If that's the name of the ship. Now, these thousand foot ore boats have a wow, look at all of the birds on that little island there. What is that? Is that? I thought maybe some of that was trash. <laughs> but I guess it's just a massive amount of birds that like that one spot. Wow. So right now they're at the shipyard of the Museum of Solid Parts. Some of Lake Superior's famous dolphins. 
Well, now we're going under the bridge again. So left and our right. We have something great remain intact. Now we are directly under the bridge. Look at all that graffiti. Wonder what happened to the, that. Looks like that's a bridge that they just tore down. Maybe a really old bridge, and it was replaced by the new one. That's the Interstate 35 bridge. There's three tugboats. Well, now we're coming back into the downtown area and you can see a lot of the homes up in the hills there. I bet that's a real popular place to live rather than down lower in the commercial area of the city. I see some pretty distinctive buildings here. Look at that round one. Shore there as she gets her maintenance done. All the way until wonder what that building is. So we can put her back in the water as the season begins. This is a park where they give concerts. People sit on the grass there. Well, we are coming into our dock here now. It's an hour and 45 minute cruise of the city of Duluth, Minnesota. Hope we've enjoyed it. Good day, folks.